Now let me go back into the stack and show you the powerful organizer view. The organizer view provides you a number of different extra view styles, which are columns, swim lanes, often known as storyboards or corkboard type views, or even can. We can show cards in a variety of different orientations. And this is where note decks will leverage the groups and tags that you've created. We can show cards as grouped with rows only or as columns. So in this first example, we are seeing the cards with the groups as rows. So if you remember, if I go back to the standard view, we have groups of act one, act two, act three, act four. If we go to the organizer view, we'll see act one, act two, act three, and act four. I can collapse the groups with the little arrow next to the name, and that makes it easy for you to focus in on a particular area. I can also organize my cards differently. For instance, if I want to use the tags to organize my cards and I can do tags as rows. And in this case, the different tags that are available are shown as rows. And now we see the cards that are tagged and they are in the appropriate rows according to the tag. So here we have the tag for Kirk, Klingon, McCoy, Scotty, Tribble, Uhura. There are many different uh, views that you can have, including tags as rows and groups as columns. And I will let you explore all of that in your convenience.